So, Jimmy, Screamer Claus, should we call you Mr. Claus? Sure. So, um, how did you come to do the voice of these nightmares in I Am Nightmare? Uh, well, first I did a voice in your second film, Heartstring Marionette. When I'm through running my sword through this skinny loser, I'm wearing something else to you. And uh, I said, give me another voice, damn you. And you, you did. Quite a good crap we've got here. Quite a good crap. <laughs> he said, be these scary nightmare men. Because you're, I mean, Jimmy's a filmmaker, musician, and a creepy guy out there on the internet. And he loves you. So in my last movie, I needed a creepy monster, so I'm like, let me ask this creepy Screamer Claws guy. And then in I Am Nightmare, we needed some terrifying nightmares, so I knew who to go to again. Exactly. I came back for round two. Yeah, and they came out, because at this point, Jimmy hasn't even seen the full movie. I'm doing this before the movie's been released, so no one's seen it. So you don't know the truth, you know, how, how I exploited your screams and creepiness yet. <laughs> And I don't remember, I don't really remember what the first batch sounded like anyway. <laughs> so it's, it's even more of a mystery to me now. So, um, yeah, so how how did you record them? Where did you record them? Um, I gave you, did I give you clips or I just gave you the script? Um, the first round you gave me really early renders. Like there was no textures or anything yet. And um, I can't remember if there was sound or not. I don't think there was sound either. Like any music, temp music or anything, I think they were blank. And then you gave me a script with um, some lines, and then there was just like you know, scream loud here, <laughs> or breathe heavy, you know, those kind of things, like like directions there. And then like, I'm trying to remember when that was, because I mean it's probably about six, seven months ago, right? It's January yeah. 27th now, in my land anyway. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's probably like six months ago. And then like I I just remembered that I didn't yell loud enough I just kind of remembered that I kind of held back a little bit and like I just had it in the back of my mind so I just kept bugging and bugging and bugging to let me yell some more and finally right when you were finishing up I got in there like two or three days before you finished I got to yeah and it made a huge me. difference in terror so all the screams in the movie I replaced with your last batch okay that's good so um, I, 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 I remember what it is now I remember you either sent me it was either the trailer or it was just some temporary clip you had, and I, I heard that like one of the screams that you used, and I just I felt that it was it was weak, and I was like, no, 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 I could scream better, I could be better. So, so what did you use for your inspiration for the sounds of the nightmares? <laughs> well, for the second round, I um, I consulted my friend MC Cumblood, who does all my screaming usually. Mm -hmm. And he said the picture of small animal being tortured with a spiked baseball bat for inspiration. <laughs> so oh, I was no. like, thanks. <laughs> so I don't know. Oh, and then I also watched videos of um, um, like crazy Christian groups speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. And there's actually, there actually instructional videos online made by them of how to speak in tongues and how really? to channel them. How do you do it? Speaker. How do you speak in tongues? I don't even remember what kind of jibber jabber they were talking about. I just kind of copied their sounds, but they have they do have instructional videos. I saw them on YouTube. So you I watched were, them. A so you spoke in tongues for the kind nightmares. Of. I just kind of went. <laughs> I just kind of studied their gibberish patterns, and there's like lots of laws and like kind of like Latin kind of sounding things. So that's what I tried to do. So you just have a script. Maybe you have some pictures or some stuff. You know what they look like. And then you just go and try to, what, make spooky? Well, you did, the second round, you sent me more finished clips. You know, with the, the full renders and all the, uh, right. the lighting effects and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I watched them. I kind of had them playing on a loop while I screamed. And I just, I was in this exact spot, actually. And I just hooked up my little recorder. And I just yelled and said things. Yeah, and so people know... Both me and Jimmy both make movies, and we both do voice acting in each other's movies. So I did a yep. voice in Jimmy's last movie and his new one, and he mm -hmm. did a voice in my two. So we kind of like, we've become voice actors, right? Because we have to, sort of. Do you do voices in your movies? I, I did Labby in uh, Way the Dead That's Go to right. Bad. They come out of the wall. They come out of the wall, and they tell me to fight. 
find more liquid memories. But I, have, I didn't do anything in this one. I'm trying not to do anything in this one so far anyway. But I'm sure I'm going to have to fill in uh, you know, some blanks here and there. And I'll be the only one to do it. So, so yeah, we both kind of do the same thing. Because then I am Nightmare. I only did a small part of this waiter guy. I didn't. Um, mm -hmm. I wanted other people to do it because it's it right. It's like hard to be too objective when it's yeah. you. You're like it sounds great. Well, with Labby, it was such an accident. I only played Labby because it was just left over from when I was making tainted milk. I just didn't have anyone else to do it. I didn't feel like finding anyone. I didn't know anybody. Like I know, you know, I know more people now than I did then anyway. But I, I just I was out of people, so I was like, oh whatever, I'll do it. <laughs> so that's the only reason I played Labby in the first place. And I, I did some voice, a little bit of voices in my film Affection, and I didn't really like the way they came out. Mm -hmm. So that's when I decided I didn't really want to do larger parts anymore. <laughs> when I'm doing stuff for like you or like, you know, other people's scripts, it's I, I seem to take it more seriously than I do for myself. So I don't know. It's, just, it's easier to do it for other people than it is for me. Cause you can then you find yourself writing yourself the best lines and shit, too, and you get <laughs> the script starts getting, you know... <laughs> bogged down by your nonsense yeah and most of the i don't know if there were there weren't many lines for the nightmares in the scripts right it was mostly just screaming and stuff there was a couple where i i was belittling children i remember that <laughs> yeah you did that you were trying to get a teenager to kill herself like yes yeah, so hating right. herself and cutting herself I just kind of walk up to teenagers and say that anyway, so it's just I didn't even have to act. For that. Yeah, that's why I got Jimmy. I was like, oh, this is perfect for him, you know. <laughs> so it was. So how much of it was you, and how much of it was this made-up character? <laughs> it was like it was like a documentary, an animation <laughs> for man. You just show up and go. This is Bleh! what I do. It. This is why I don't get any sleep. I just wander around the, the night, you know, <laughs> looking for children. Like, oh, not in bed. All right, here we go. With the cape. Mine now, sucker. Blah! And then you yeah. swallow. I open my cape. I, you know, usually I just don't have anything under there, though. Is what it, I don't have, you know, more arms. Just, you know. So that's what, meat. yeah, that's what the mouth represented. That was Jimmy's nudity. So it's like, yes. Whoa! That's what my nipples look like. Yeah. My big they're, mouth. They're a mouth, <laughs> so it was a biography. So... <laughs> We both make movies, so why don't you tell people a little bit about like what you do and your movies and how they can find them and what you're doing, what you got coming out. Um, I I'm, I come more from um from more of a, like a horror movie background. I know you come from sort of an anime but kind of background. I I always I got into this just wanting to make horror movies. You know, nobody's really making animated horror movies, so I'm trying to make some sort of horror-ish movie. Sophie, I don't you dare know what you're saying. Every sound that you make, that's just going to be another 15 minutes and you get to be tied up there. I killed myself and I buried my body underneath the floorboards. And you know, my first one was Where the Dead Go to Die, which was a, um, a collection of just three shorts that interlinked together that I turned into an anthology film and I released through Unearth Films. And now I'm working on my second feature, When Blackbirds Fly, which is I'm trying to make it much, much different than Where the Dead Go to Die, but still intense, like that sort of intensity. But it's not nearly as gross out, disturbing. It's more like a, like a spooky kind of um, thinky, scary, disturbing. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but I couldn't come up with a better word. You know how I am with words. <laughs> So, On the words, bro. How do people find you on the internet, Jimmy? Uh, my website's just screamerclaws.com. S-C-R-E-A-M-E-R-C-L-A-U-Z, not S-Z, dot com. Or I'm on Facebook, Jimmy Screamer Claws. Um, YouTube, Screamer Claws. Just, you're, I'm the only Screamer Claws. And you're Ooh, doing you a new movie, and what, what's it called, and when's it going to be out around so people can look for it if they want to check it out? It's called When Blackbirds Fly, and I vowed to myself I will finish it at some point in 2014. Okay, and I do a uh, voice in your movie, too, so people can check yes, me out do. in your movie. A much bigger and better part than the first one, so. Cool. You get to play like a real role this time, so just 
baby doctor. So is, if there's any last thing you want to say to the people, that they've already seen I Am Nightmare, they've seen me screaming, they've seen these nightmares, they've seen this part of this movie, do you have anything to say to those people? Watch it again. Damn it. You missed something. Go back. <laughs> and you remember that one part where that thing happened that was awesome? That's the part. Oh, it totally is. So That's the part right there. Thank you, Mr. Claus, for being a part of the making of, and thanks for being in this movie. You made it extra terrifying, which made it extra weird because it, it was my kid's movie. And then, <laughs> but it's probably the Oops. scariest. But now it's probably the scariest movie I've made. Well, so. kids, when you grow up, hire me for your voice things, and I'll ruin your movies too. There you go. And birthday parties, whatever you want, Jimmy. Birthday, to show hire up. me Blah! for your birthday party. I'll come and dressed up as the nightmare and scream. And tongues. And tongues. So yeah, cool. Thanks, Jimmy, and looking forward to your new movie. Thank you, sir.